Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today, um, I've got a hankering for some um, conies, some chili cheese dogs. And um, you know, when I get the hankering for something, I'm just, I'm just not happy until I get it. Look at that, there's always something in the background. That's more boxes, that's from like Christmas presents. But anyway, back to what we're doing. I've already got this recipe on here for when I made my chili cheese dog casserole, which is absolutely amazing. Um, but today I just wanted like some conies, like I said. I don't think that I gave the exact measurements on um, that video for this chili sauce, um, which is a very like an old fashioned type chili sauce. It is so good, so good. But I thought I would go ahead and um, just up upload another video for you guys. Since I'm cooking it, why not? Why not? And give the exact measurements because I know how I know how grumpy people can get if they don't have the exact measurements. Which I know I get that way sometimes too. So anyway, um, I've got my um, ground chuck on the back there. I've already browned it and drained it, and then we're just going to add the rest of the ingredients to this and let it cook probably for about an hour and then I'm gonna throw my hot dogs in the oven that's how I like to do mine roast them in the oven probably make some fries in my air fryer and that's gonna be our dinner today how simple is that you guys are really gonna like this chili recipe perfect you're gonna love it now like I said I've already got my hamburger um a ground chuck here that's, you know that's what I like to use with ground chuck cooked browned and drained then to this we're gonna add um, I've got like a small onion here and uh, just just cut up and this is like a clove and a half, two cloves of uh, garlic just roughly cut. I'm going to add that in here. You know, normally I like to add my onions and garlic, um, you know, after I'm done browning my meat. I think last time I did that I added them before I browned my meat. That's perfectly fine. Either way, I just don't like to add them before because... When you drain them out in your colander, you know, if you've got big holes in your colander, you know, some of that deliciousness goes right through those holes and you lose a lot of it. I've got my heat on about um, slightly less than medium, medium low. And we're just going to incorporate that. This is, like I said, probably about a pound, slightly over a pound of ground chuck. If you want to do, uh, make it a little bit healthier and use, um, you know, some ground turkey, some ground chicken, you know, go right ahead, guys. Go right ahead. Whatever makes you feel better. This is about a teaspoon and a half of um, chili powder. I've got a about a half to three fourths teaspoon of cumin. This is a half a teaspoon of celery salt, a teaspoon of onion powder, and a teaspoon of garlic powder. This is this is magic. This is what's going to season that so well. I'm just going to throw that in there. You don't have to stir it up first. Really going to season that one. And just incorporate that. Oh my goodness, it smells so good already. And then we're going to add um, about two heaping spoons of um, tomato paste. And you know, guys, there's a lot of times when you a recipe calls for tomato paste and, you know, you have half of it left. Go ahead and put that in like a little Ziploc bag and freeze it. That way you don't have to waste it. onion and this is two cups of tomato sauce and this is about a third cup of um, ketchup and um, uh, about three tablespoons of Frank's hot sauce I like it. This is such a good combination. And then we're going to use just maybe, um, you know, a nice um, couple teaspoons of Worcestershire. 
Worcestershire, Worcestershire, however you say it. And then we're also going to add some water to this. Oh my gosh, it smells so good already. All right, I'm using about three fourths cup of water. I just used it in the, the container that I had my tomato salsa in, and then we're just going to combine that. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn it up, bring this to a boil, and then we're just going to turn it down and let it simmer for about an hour or so. All right, nothing else to do but um, build this hot dog. This chili cooked probably about an hour, maybe a little bit over an hour. Um, but look at that, the meat is nice. I don't know if you can see it, but the meat is nice and broke down just the way I like it. I'll tell you, I can't tell you how many times I was in this just, you know, snacking it. And then what I did is I just took my hot dogs, put them in the oven, and roasted them for about 15, 20 minutes until um, they started getting nice and delicious. Now I'm going to show you what I'm going to do with mine. Made some fries to go with it. Girl, put me one of those on here. Look at that. I'm telling you, this is the best hot dog chili. Throw me a pepperoni on there. Look at that. I'm having pepperonis with mine. I'm also going to add some cheese and onions. Now let's point you down a little bit so you don't have to look at Olivia's pajamas. <laughs> you still see them? Oh, you still see them. Add some cheese to it. Mmm, sharp cheddar. But you can use whatever you have on hand. You know how I'm about that. And we're going to add some onion. Onion. Let's build this baby. Let's build this together. I'll turn it around here. Onion, mmm, yes. I like a lot of onion on mine. Look at that. Oh. Of course, you know you're gonna have to take these off before you eat it, but put them right on top. Mm. I'm gonna need another one. Oh, I love these things. Mm. Look at that. We're going to add some fries to this plate. And these I just cooked in my air fryer. Ooh, they're hot. Gosh, they're hot. These are the rally fries. This is not a sponsored video, but you know, it should be because these rally fries are really good. Look at that. Look at there. Yum. Now let's eat. This is going to be messy. But I'm ready. It's falling apart. Whoop. Mmm. That is so good. Make sure you give this a try. You can put it on your fries if you want to. My husband made him some chili cheese fries with ranch with it. Make sure you give it a try. You know I love you guys very much. I appreciate you, and I'll see you on the next episode of In the Kitchen with Sandy.